Okay, I say that mobile technology can certainly give a contribution on the ease of the access to court and uh, the flexibility of the courts to give uh, information to the customer or their clients, I think. They are not any different from uh, other, I think, technology. It depends on how they are used and uh, are there maybe adopted by, by the court. Uh, it's not the technology itself, I think, that can make a difference in the efficiency of justice, but uh, again, it's the way in which uh, uh, it's used. For example, uh, the mobile can be very useful when uh, there is, a, uh, for example, a postponement uh, in a hearing and uh, the lawyers can be called up or the citizen can be called up and, uh, you know, maybe they can just uh, go to court uh, a little bit late. late. Uh, the only thing that I would like to emphasize is that uh, sometimes uh, these uh, technologies are uh, seen more uh, as a gadget than uh, really a tool to, to make uh, uh, or to try to improve the efficiency of justice or the quality of justice. So I think that it's important for any kind of technology to try to avoid what uh, is called sometimes uh, a, a run to modernization or the appearance to modernization and uh, try to avoid again the technology for uh, the technology's sake syndrome.